Looking for the length from 0 to pi over 2 of polar function r equals e to the theta. So let's go ahead and plug that in to our formula L equals integral bound by 0 and pi over 2 square root of r squared, which is e to the 2 theta, plus uh, dr d theta squared. Well, dr d theta we know is simply e to the theta. So this is going to be the same exact term, d theta. And we can combine terms here, 0 to pi over 2, square root of 2 e to the 2 theta, d theta. And we can draw out the root 2 term, root 2 term, integral from 0 to pi over 2 e to the theta d theta. So we end up with square root of 2 times e to the pi over 2 minus e to the 0, which is 1. So we see that the setup for a polar curve arc length problem is the same exact setup as a parametric curve or even uh, just a normal function. All we have to do is find our corresponding dr d theta or our derivative term and plug it right into our formula. So that's it for parametric and polar curve arc lengths. Thanks for watching educator.com. We'll see you in the next lesson.